Hi guys and welcome back, I'm Adam Thomas, thank you all so much for being here. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to click the subscription button. If you enjoy the content, smash the like button and click the bell icon, that'll get you notified of all my latest updates uh, so you don't miss out on any of my content. Today we are going to be doing five things what to do, what not to do, five things what you should do when getting a tattoo, before you get a tattoo. Before, during, and uh, yeah, we're gonna give you five tips if you've never had a tattoo, or if you've had a tattoo. Um, we're gonna do five tips on what to do before a tattoo appointment. Let's jump straight into it. So tip number one, if you're getting tattooed, make sure you're wearing the right clothes. So that sounds like a really simple, common sense thing to, to hear, but the amount of times I've tattooed someone and I'll be tattooing their arm and they'll come in a brand new white t-shirt. As a tattoo artist, you know, you obviously trying not to get ink everywhere. You don't want ink on your own clothes, on the floor, everywhere, but it does happen from time to time. The uh, machines do have a tendency to spray and obviously as you're wiping and, and whatnot, you can get ink all over the place. So if you're wearing a white t-shirt, it is not gonna be white for very longer. Uh, also, bear in mind the body part that you're getting tattooed. If you're getting tattooed on the thigh, unless you wanna sit there in your underwear, make sure you've got shorts or something that you can change into, which will allow the tattoo artist to get to those body parts as easily and as freely as possible. If you're getting your back tattooed, for example, if you've got a zipped up hoodie, and if it obviously zips down the front, it just means you can be able to take the off, put it on backwards, and it's, uh, it's gonna keep you a bit more comfortable a bit more sort of warm and, and everything else whilst you're getting tattooed. So plan ahead, make sure you're wearing the right clothes for the position and body part that you're getting tattooed uh, to make your life and your tattoo artist's life a lot easier. Tip number two is make sure you stay nice and hydrated. The key to having a nice tattoo experience or a nicer tattoo experience is making sure that you're really hydrated. Obviously, as you're there getting tattooed, your body's gonna be burning through adrenaline and endorphins, so your body's gonna be taking a kick in. Uh, if you keep yourself nice and hydrated, it just means that throughout the day, you're not gonna get too overly fatigued. Uh, you're gonna have a nicer experience. That means you're gonna sit better and longer, which means your tattoo artist is gonna have a better time as well, and you're just gonna have a much, much nicer experience with the tattoo process. So yeah, stay, uh, Stay very, very nice and hydrated. Tip number three kind of goes hand in hand with staying hydrated is making sure you're staying nice and fed. Running out of blood sugars is never good when you're getting tattooed. It's the number one cause people passing out during the tattoo process. So make sure you bring yourself a decent packed lunch or if you're planning on going out, if you've got time to grab, grab some lunch, that's available wherever you're getting tattooed, then uh, yeah, plan ahead, make sure you've got lots of food, lots of snacks, anything that you can graze on throughout the day uh, is really good and lots of sugary sweets. Keeping sugary sweets in your system isn't necessarily important, but just making sure that you're super well fed, uh, have a good breakfast, eat throughout the day. Again, it's gonna stop you fatiguing throughout the day, keep you feeling better, stop you getting a bit tired towards the end of the session, and just means you're gonna sit longer and have a better experience. So tip number four is less about before the appointment, but it's more about pre-planning for after the appointment. So from my experience as a tattoo artist, if clients have got things planned for after the tattoo session, so if they, if your session's gonna finish at five and they've got plans to go out at six, it just puts that extra pressure on the tattoo artist to get the piece done. I have a tendency of running over my appointments. So if you've got a rush off, it just means that I'm gonna start rushing the tattoo and everyone's just gonna have that little bit of extra stress involved with the tattoo appointment. After a tattoo, you are gonna be pretty battered. So the plans that you did have throughout the day, you're probably gonna start thinking, how can I get out of these? So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to make sure that you don't have anything planned for the evening, apart from sitting on the sofa, chilling out with some food, some drinks, and probably having an early night. So yeah, make sure you have uh, you clear your diary and the evening of your tattoo appointment and just get yourself some, some nice rest and recovery. And finally, tip number five. Uh, this is a fairly new one for me and it makes complete sense. And this has mainly come out of a few clients that have told me they've been doing this before their appointment 
and I can definitely tell the difference from a tattoo artist uh, whilst tattooing their skin is just to get your skin nice and nice and moisturized sort of within the week leading up to the appointment. So for example, if you're getting tattooed on a forearm, just get yourself a decent moisturizer and just moisturize that area every day, a couple of times, uh, just to lock in that moisture. From a tattoo artist's point of view and through the process, it just helps everything just go in a lot nicer, it stops the skin from getting so irritated and angry. It means through healing, your, your body has already locked in a load of moisture so it shouldn't go as dry so you can have a better time healing. That would be my biggest tip before your tattoo appointment is just to make sure whichever part of the body you're gonna get tattooed, get a load of moisturizer in there with the week, couple of weeks leading up to the appointment and it's just gonna make your life that little bit easier and you're gonna get a better result from the tattoo. So there you go guys, that was five top tips on what to do before a tattoo appointment. They're very quick, very simple, and it doesn't cover everything, but if you follow those five tips, it's gonna make your life that little bit easier when getting tattooed. And like I say, it's also gonna make me as a tattoo artist a little bit happier with the appointment and make my life that little bit easier. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure to click the like button. If you enjoy all my content, click the subscription button. And with all that being said, I will see you on the next video. Peace.